Welcome back to day five of this Morning Mana series on transparency. Now that we have talked about what transparency is, what it's not, what blocks us from it, let's look at some of the benefits. You know, Jesus often described the Pharisees as hypocrites in the Gospels. What they, he said that they were whitewashed tombs and noted that they had ignored justice, mercy, and faithfulness. Christians have been cleansed by Christ's blood, but we're still prone to act like Pharisees at times. Instead of acknowledging our struggles, we keep our mouths shut, or worse, we act like we don't even have any struggles. In Hebrews chapter 10, verse 24 and 25, we're told to fellowship so that we can encourage each other. Now, I appreciate when a believer is willing to speak up and admit how he or she has sinned, because when that believer shares his or her sin, it gives me an opportunity to examine my own heart and see what sins I need to confess. Thankfully, 1 John verse 1, or chapter 1, verse 9 says, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Though Christians are righteous in God's eyes because of Jesus, we still sin because our flesh is still a part of us. When other Christians, especially within the body of believers, can swallow their pride and admit what temptations they haven't overcome, we too can recognize the sin in our lives and seek God's forgiveness. Transparency creates accountability. Encouragement among believers leads to accountability. Honestly, we can't be held accountable if we don't discuss why we need accountability. Likewise, we can't help others keep others accountable if we don't know why they need accountability. James 5 verse 16, Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is a great, has great power as it is working. Of course, not everything should be shared with everyone all the time. There is a time and place for certain struggles to be discussed. For example, it's probably inappropriate to open up about a pornography addiction with a Bible study group of 50 people. However, it would be more appropriate to share that with one or two close Christian friends. When one Christian or a few Christians are aware of our sin, it can help us overcome that sin. With little reminders and nudges in the right direction, we'll be less likely to continue in that sin. Perhaps an accountability partner could be a spouse or a parent, a sibling, a friend, or even a pastor. Paul's words to the Galatians sum up the issue of transparency perfectly. Brothers, if anyone is caught in any transgression, you who are spiritual should restore him in a spirit of gentleness. Keep watch over yourselves, lest you too be tempted. Bear one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. For if anyone thinks he is something, when he is nothing, he deceives himself. Yes, Christians, we are nothing. We are only something because of Christ. Not because of our righteousness, not because of our good deeds, because of His grace. You know, sadly, I think we forget that biblical fact, especially here in the church. Instead of being self-righteous and trying to hide our sins, I want to encourage you to be transparent about your struggles. Find a good support group. Hey, a small group. God bless you guys. We'll see you tomorrow.